there everyone, Laurel Beard here. Welcome to another video here in my 25 days of Christmas video series. Today is video 13. We're gonna be doing some sentiment free scene cards in today's video and here's a look at all three cards that we're going to be making today. I'm going to be using some penny black stamps. This is the Birches stamp. This is an actual cling stamp. So I'm gonna pull out my Misty and I'm gonna remove that little foam insert because it's a thick rubber stamp, I don't need that. Then I've got three pieces of white cardstock there lined up. So I'm going to just keep them in the same place, which is why I'm using my Misty, and ink them up with some Versamark ink, stamp, move the paper, ink, stamp, move the paper, <laughs> ink, stamp, and then I'll have three backgrounds there stamped with all the Versamark ink so I can go ahead and get my stamping out of the way and then get my uh, embossing powder out of the way. This is Copper Blush Embossing Powder from Nuvo. So I'll just sprinkle that all over all three card panels and then heat set them all. The ones to the right are already heat set and I'm just gonna show you up close what it looks like as you're heat setting your embossing powder. See how it melts and gets sparkly and yummy? I love watching it melt. I remember the first time I showed my son, who is now almost 13, he thought I was like some kind of magician or something. <laughs> All of my panels are going to be colored with the Ken Oliver Color Bursts. And they are pigmented powders, and they come in a little squeeze bottle, if you will, the fine tip. So I got this idea from Effie as well, who guessed it a couple days ago on my channel for the series. She also used the Color Burst and inspired me to get mine out. But she stored hers in a palette like I have here, and uh, I got the idea from her. So what I did was I puffed, I don't know any other way to, I squeezed a little bottle and a couple puffs of powder came out. <laughs> or you can tap the end of the bottle or whatever. A little bit of powder goes a long way with Color Bursts. I, when I first started playing with them, I called them the powders of power. And I think Ken himself even dubbed that little slogan because truly a little goes a long way. So I got a little couple little puffs into each of the pans. I added a drip or two of water and then that's it. So once the water seeps into the powder, it almost turns it into a dried up liquid watercolor form. So they don't stay in powder form, so they're not going to blow away. And I know there were a couple of comments on that video about how you are storing the powders without them blowing away and that's how you add water to activate it and then they'll dry just like any other kind of liquid uh, watercolor that you're maybe familiar with so that's how you do it so I'm adding some pink and some orange for the background I added some brown to the trees now with this panel I did not add any water first the next panel I will and you'll see the difference in how it goes on this is seasons Marvel stamp set from penny black it has some birds it has mountains it has a tree um, I will link to the Applies, you know, as always in my YouTube description as well. But I decided to stamp a couple birds here uh, using some Midnight Ink from Catherine Puller Ink. And then there's a tree in that stamp set. And I decided to kind of turn it a little bit and stamp it at the bottom for some added fun. I'm masking off my trees with some purple tape because obviously I don't want to stamp over my trees. So I'll stamp that peel off the tape and wada bang, here's the first card. I did add a little bit of red glitter to that heart. I did that off camera, I'm sorry, but I added just a teeny tiny bit to add a little bit of shine there. The next panel, I'm just applying a wash of clean water and then I'm gonna go in and add the background using some blue. We're gonna start with blue, then we'll go in with some purple. But by adding the water before I add the color burst, it really helps the color move. I don't get a lot of harsh lines. So if you're not super comfortable with water coloring, add the water down to your panel first and then add the color burst. But remember, color burst is incredibly pigmented, so a little goes a long way. I am so mad that half my card is cut off at the bottom of my screen. Oh, I apologize. <sighs> okay, so I painted the tree orange thinking it was brown. So I'm like, oopsie doopsie. So we're going to go in and fix that here by adding in some more brown. And now it's a little pretty fall foliage tree. <laughs> I did that on purpose. I totally did not. All right, so I'm going to go in and add the heart there. Now here is a look at the stamp set. Well, that went by really fast, huh? I will link it below in my, in my supply list for you, I'm sorry. But it has some mountains on it. I masked the, the trees off again, and I'm going to ink up the mountains with a gray ink. It's Blackjack from Catherine Pooler. I did spritz it with a little bit of water, and I stamped it. Now here's a trick. It's dark, right? It's a little dark for me. So I let that dry, and then I stamped right over it with some white pigment ink to kind of soften that color up. And this is that card, see? Pretty. Look at that scene. Look at that background watercolor. Mm -hmm. 
I love this. I'm just loving it. For the third and final card in today's series, I'm just going to do some simple painting here of the trees. And I am leaving all these cards sentiment free. You don't always have to put a sentiment on a card. And I think scene cards um, are great way or great card designs to just leave the sentiment off. You can either go in and add a sentiment strip later or just write your note on the inside. Um, you know, just think about it. You don't always have to have something on the front of that card. I could use this as a winter card. I could use this as a Christmas card. I could use this as a thinking of you card. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities with this kind of design and Penny Black is huge for me. My favorite go-to company for scene backgrounds. I love it. I wanted to add a little bit of snow. So this is some white embossing paste. I am liberally adding to my card there with a palette knife. I am not putting it on even. I'm going to smear it all over the trees. I'm just going to put it wherever I think snow might be. I don't know. I'm really not putting I'm just putting it wherever I think it looks good, right? Because that's pretty much what I do with any of my cards. If it looks good to me, then it's going to be good. That's what I'm saying, and I'm sticking to it. And then once I finish that off, I give a little spritz of this Nouveau Mist, which I'm a huge fan. I have just bought all the colors. I love it. It's a very soft background, and it's not a very liquidy mist. So it's not going to, you know, if you're not using watercolored cardstock, which, by the way, I am. I don't know if I even said that in any of the videos. I am using watercolored cardstock, uh, but I just love that mist. It gives a nice, soft, beautiful look. And I love when the embossing paste dry. It looks like snow. I'm telling you, and I did add a little bit of glossy uh, accents to that heart. So here's all three cards, sentiment free. Add a sentiment later or leave the sentiment off and just write your note on the inside, totally up to you. But uh, I thought this would be a great opportunity to plug this into the Christmas video series because these totally can be Christmas cards. I don't have to have Santa Claus or a reindeer for it to be a Christmas card right? That's what I'm saying. All right, so today 13, that's a wrap. I will see you back tomorrow for day 14. Thanks so much, and thanks to the folks at the Foil Box, where I got all of my Penny Black supplies from. I will see you guys tomorrow.